have a new tweet from Peter H. Hahn. He said, when I hear that there are 80,000 wait lists to get the new AMC credit card, I can't help but be amazed at the power of the brand. Would it be so powerful if the Schwartz hadn't dragged this out so long? Probably not. And Peter Hahn has a point there. If this play weren't to have been dragged out this long, I don't know if AMC would have the numbers and the power it has. But drag it, they have, and people are going to support any reasonable product that will make the company stronger. He also said, I sort of understand why the Shorts didn't anticipate this. But unlike Sears, whose cultural impact faded decades ago, AMC is the largest movie chain theater in the world. People love entertainment. They don't want that choice taken away. Because even the corrupt ones right now gladiator recognize bread and the circuses were key. Stupid shorts understand culture and history. And maybe they would have been better off. So the FUD and the crazy articles just keep on getting wilder, guys. Look at this. This is an article from Market Watch. It says, forget AMC. Sign World is a better acquisition target for Amazon. So over the past weeks or so, there's been a lot of rumors saying that Amazon could even buy AMC. And for good reason. There's a lot of reasons why Amazon, honestly, and AMC probably could work together and make for a really good merge acquisition. That maybe Sign World is a better acquisition target for Amazon. Yeah, I'm sure. Remember when naked shorts were nothing more than a forbidden conspiracy theory? Remember when we were all said to be crazy? Apes made them and dark pools part of the mainstream conversation. Well, fails to deliver can be associated with naked short selling. It seems like just yesterday that all the AMC naysayers were saying that there, there's no naked short selling going on with AMC. All the apes are crazy. Meanwhile, the apes are creating this narrative off of actual data that we've been looking at for years now. And Adam Mayer and the regulators are going to need to give us some answers very soon here. With the per patron spending at all-time high and the box office earnings at almost 100% since pre-lockdown levels already. In June forecasted to earn $500 million. it's apparent that theaters are strong and that there's a very strong and bright future for AMC. 